Guys, when you have a factory like mine, you're always looking for a way to improve quality and at the same time, save money. One of the things that I'm gonna do today is take a look at a company called Diablo, which now Diablo is a brand name, which you can buy these blades and drill bits and everything at the Home Depot, but the Diablo guy came by today and he brought me some items that I'm sure will improve the quality of my shelters. Not that I can improve them much more, but I'm always looking. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna to do today to my bunkers to make them better for you. another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters and as always I'm always looking for a better and better quality way to cut my materials weld my bunkers and make the product for you so it comes out cling as a whistle these two knuckleheads from Diablo were crazy enough to come by today and bring me a bunch of cutting blades and drill bits and everything you can think of so you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run these two guys through the shop and we're gonna have some fun and we're gonna show you how fast and show me how fast I could cut my steel with Diablo blades all right Diablo uh, saw blade with cement teeth. Wow. Which is going to allow me to use the standard uh, Makita circular saw to cut some really thick metal. And you're going to cut my heavy I beam with that? Absolutely, we are. No way. Not with that. That's crazy. You just cut that with a circular saw? Cordless circular saw. And it's not even hot. Not even hot. Why is it not hot? So the way the the way it cuts, it actually all the chips are super hot, but it it's almost like a milling process versus the grinding process that you guys are used to. Dude, I can't even cut through steel that fast with a torch. No. That was crazy. And now what's a blade like that cost? Uh, you can find it at your local hardware store for about 30 bucks. That's it? That's it. That is crazy awesome right there. Well, you know what? You're you guys are going to put the uh, the air and gas companies out of business with blades like this. We'll just make them sell more air and gas. <laughs> and now we're going to cross cut it. Guys, that's a half inch thick right there too. That's not thin, that's a half inch thick. That is a crazy blade. Who invented that? Some guy way smarter than me. <laughs> I'll say so. That is incredible. Wow. Awesome. Okay. The same blade we cut that thick I beam. We were just going to try to cut your stuff you use a lot of in one pass instead of cutting that with a plasma. You're going to cut my channel with a circular saw instead of us cutting it all in a bandsaw. All right, let's see this. through it like a piece of uh, wood almost and it's not even hot it's a little warm but not hot no i mean it's not hot at all look i got my finger on there that's crazy and it's clean too it's cooler than andrew is 
Well, how many cuts can I get out of that before I have to put a new blade it's on there? It's going to depend on the thickness of the material, but we claim it'll outlast about 40 or 50 bonded wheels. For, that is crazy. For 30 ish dollars retail, and your standard saw you most likely already have. So. 30 bucks. Wow, that is quick. That's impressive. It's our Snaplock Plus Arbor system. Instead of having multiple different arbors for different sizes, one arbor does the whole thing. So we're gonna put an uh, inch and three eighths hole in the same piece of channel that we just cut. With a Diablo. With the Diablo carbide tip All right, now that is what we would be cutting through our floor joist to run the, uh, the electrical. So we're just gonna pre-drill it really quick. I've already had that thing built. Thing is that thing. All right, so now what are you going to do? So we're going to cut through this uh, piece of C-channel with an inch and three eighths carbide tip Diablo. All right, so that took about 30 seconds. And it's cool. It's, it's, it's not hot, it's warm, but it won't kill you. So what, what is the thing why your blades leave the metal always cool instead of hot? So it's, it's like I said before, it's almost like a milling effect, right? So when you're cutting it, you're, all of the, the heat and all the heat transfer is going into these metal shavings, which are extremely hot, but the actual surface of your material is going to remain cool or warm to the touch and not hot. That's crazy. I like this one too. This will work, any really abrasive disc will work, but what cool thing about this is if you get in a pinch or bind, it won't shatter on you. Got it. Go ahead and cut that. Is so, it blow sparks? Since you're not losing disc, you're losing about half the spark, so you're still gonna get spark from the material, but you won't get spark from the actual disc itself. Cool, let's see it. This is a Diablo carbide tip, thick metal blade. Okay, so this is the 90th thick metal carbide. All right, let's see what it does to the culvert. Yeah. smoother than cutting with a torch like we've been doing that is just that's incredible and so fast too medium metal so a little thinner gauge steel uh, and since that that's a little on the thin side those other teeth were super fast all right one we should get the light so these got maybe. smaller teeth more teeth per inch more teeth per inch okay well we'll cut the other way now so this is actually a piece of the culvert pipe that we cut off with a torch out on the job site and uh, he's like, why torque it when you cut it with a blade? Say when. Go oh, ahead, when. tools known for our carbide tip reciprocating blades. Uh, we innovated the market a few years ago putting carbide teeth on our reciprocating blade. We're the predominant player in circular saw blades and uh, masonry drill bits, router bits for all carbide teeth and once they entered those markets they revolutionized the cutting process. We did that with reciprocating blades. As you saw with that, we could take what normally took minutes or hours to cut and do it in just seconds, so save you time. And there money. was seconds. So, that was crazy fast. Wow. And smooth, too. Crazy. Compared to doing it with a torch here. Well, we found a new way to cut our uh, culvert pipe out in the field. That's for sure. Guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I want to say thanks to Andrew and Dave here from Diablo, and thanks for bringing me these cool and fast and clean cutting blades. 
Did you guys see how fast that thing cut through that culvert pipe? Man, that was like a hot knife through butter. So guys, you know what I'm gonna be using from now on. No more torches for me, but Diablo all the way. So guys, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, make sure you like and subscribe, share this video so other people can see it. Hit that little ding ding bell up there. It lets you know when my next video comes in. But guys, stay tuned. I've got a Piranha Iron Worker, Miller Weld Machines, and all kinds of tools used in the welding shop coming up on upcoming videos. So guys, as always, I love you. I'll see you on the next video.